I discovered one thing about my mother that she has made me somebody who's very, very grounded in touch with the reality. If there was an unsaid, unspoken uh, communication between mum and me before we started sitting down with the writers, uh, where somehow we just knew that there were two things we wouldn't talk about ever. At the same time, I knew that there would be some lines that we have to cross purely because the show would just not be entertaining otherwise. Masipa, you know the the best thing about the show is the relationship between you and your mother, and that's that's exactly the relationship of siblings as much as it, as much as it is of roommates or flatmates, all of that. You know, there's a there's a natural beauty to that relationship. How much of you know? Of course, this is this is the real relationship that you've got to create. But how has your relationship with her evolved through the making of the show? Did you discover about each other as artists? I discovered one thing about my mother that she's not a typical mom. You know, and by that I mean I mean it in the best way possible because I have seen uh, kids who are really bad at what they do. being told that they are kings and queens of their respective professions by their mothers and i don't think there's anything that's more damaging to a child than that because your child has no connection with reality uh your child will grow up to think they know everything when none of us do so i think that i discovered one thing about my mother that she has made me somebody who's very very grounded in touch with reality uh she said just i mean not said but i sensed from her body language that you know just because you have a show name after you doesn't mean anything you know uh it's if the show is there one day it's not there the next um the brand is there one day the next it's not there the next you don't know anything about life you know so uh i think that uh, is something i discovered about her and i'm so grateful to her for that because if she would have been like a mummy on set i would have i would have gone mad and i would have probably done a very bad job of it because i would have had her molly coddling you know so there was no i was like i'm so tired we shot night shoot sometimes and i i'm not used to it i'm not an actor right so i wasn't used to it and i didn't know uh, how to conserve my energy i didn't know simple basic things like if you're not doing a close up you don't have to emote so much save up save up your energy for the close up she didn't give me any direction she said you're tired uh, fine you sleep when the shoot is over you know uh you know you don't don't need she never said don't need this don't need that do this die do this so there was no uh, meddling she was another co-actor like anybody else and that's it the only thing i uh, was privileged enough to get was some ghar ka khana from her because <laughs> <laughs> when we were shooting together so i think that's the thing i discovered from her that uh, both of us are very in touch with our realities I really enjoyed that scene where your mother is telling you, "Ha, I'm so sorry that you only took a bite of food. It's so tired. Full genuine diet. How much of that is Nina Ji? Is she that person? Uh, yeah. You know, when I used to live with her, uh, she was that person, and she was somebody who, and I think she really enjoyed being that person. You know, what to eat, lunch, what to eat, what to eat, dinner, what to eat, what to eat, snacks, what to eat. अभी तो मीठा मत खाओ पिम्पल आ जाएंगे तुम फ्राई मत खाओ ये हो जाएगा सो देर वॉज ऑल ऑफ दैट एंड आई वॉज ऑल्सो समबडी हु वॉज वर्किंग फुल टाइम सो आई वॉज लाइक अ पेइंग गेस्ट इन दैट हाउस आई वॉज जस्ट लाइक गेट आउट गेट आउट कम बैक टू माई मील लेट्स इट बट आई थिंक दैट शी वॉज नेवर सो लाइक दैट सीन द इन्वेस्टर थिंग शी वुड नेवर डू यू नो she would never do that she has never ever interfered um in my work she uh, used to be a big part of the company before but not only now ever since she restarted working but uh, she's never been somebody who has called up a client or she's called up somebody and something something never she's always let me fight my own battles in that sense thank you so much masaba it was lovely speaking to you wish you all the best Same and see you in two soon right Season two soon, hopefully. I'll get you. <laughs> All the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.